Hello, it's Jonathan here, and on this video, I'll be explaining how you can easily prepare yourself for the ADI Part 3 test using my video tutorials. The process you need to go through to prepare yourself for the Part 3 test is number one, watch my Part 3 video tutorials and learn how to teach pupils. Number two, self-practice some basic in-car skills, which is all explained throughout my video tutorials. Number three, practice teaching pupils in preparation for your part three test, either using a trainee license or getting private practice using your own car. Then you will be properly prepared to take your part three test. You can take responsibility for your own learning by using my video tutorials and training yourself how to teach pupils. My video tutorials explain, demonstrate and show you how to teach pupils from beginner level all the way to test standard. You will learn all 17 of the lesson planning, risk management and teaching and learning strategy competences and you will fully understand how to use these competences when teaching pupils. You will learn how to pass the ADI part 3 test. I will show you how to teach a controls and moving off and stopping lesson to a beginner pupil, how to teach use of mirrors, steering, gear changing, clutch control, hill starts, approaching and emerging at junctions. I will show you how to teach meeting approaching traffic, dealing with roundabouts, driving in a town or city environment, how to teach a pupil to drive on higher speed roads, including dual carriageways, and how to teach a pupil to drive on country lanes. You'll also learn how to teach the manoeuvres such as a parallel park. You will learn how to identify mistakes and how to correct mistakes. You will learn how to develop and improve a learner driver's ability so they are always moving forwards with their learning on each and every driving lesson. You will learn how to instruct and how to coach a pupil. You will learn how to provide client-centered driving lessons. You will also watch five 45 minute part three test lesson demonstrations and you will see exactly what you need to do to pass your part three test. You will learn how to pass the part three test. There are 42 video tutorials with 18 hours watch time. Do bear in mind you will be watching educational video tutorials teaching you how to teach pupils. Therefore, you will need to watch each video at least twice, which is 36 hours of watch time. You'll sometimes need to pause the videos, rewind them, watch certain parts over and over again, make notes, write down what I say so you can refer back to the notes you make. This all takes time. There's also lots of resources for you to print out, such as pupil progress charts, lesson diagrams, lesson plans, and much more. You'll need to read and study these resources to get familiar with them, because you will use these resources when teaching pupils, and again, this takes time. There are also self-practice exercises I'll be asking you to do after watching certain video tutorials, such as practicing and developing your ability to fully instruct a pupil through the mirrors, signal, position, speed, look routine. So there are several hours of self-practice you'll need to do as part of the part three video tutorial course. In total, you'll need to allow between 40 to 50 hours to watch the videos, study the competences, learn the skills and self-practice. You'll need to do all of this before you start teaching pupils. This is a very comprehensive online ADI part three training course offering excellent value for money. Once you've gone through this process, you will then be ready to start practicing teaching pupils in preparation for your part three test. My video tutorials are the easiest and most efficient way for you to learn how to teach pupils. 
all of the part three video tutorials will be unlocked once you've bought them. Just click on the buy videos button to access all 42 video tutorials plus resources.